after paying in traffic jam for like two hours i've managed to pay in town it's around six and i'm supposed to buy things here in town let's hurry up and see if we can find what we came for because now time has gone Usually in Nairobi, there are a lot of traffic jams when it rains, as you can see. I don't know where these vehicles come from, but whenever it rains in town or in the city, there is a lot of traffic jam. Now I have to be real, like I have to rush so that I can manage to get whatever I want. Let me bisect it through this. There are a lot of people. But it's better of walking here. There's a lot of traffic. Now I have to really rush. Let me rush, rush, rush and buy some few things if I can manage. There are a lot of people too. Wow. It's really tough in the city to squeeze. We have to squeeze ourselves in between these vehicles. It's really tough to pass here. See, you have to squeeze yourself in between these vehicles. Wow. It's like a lag. I crack for real. Wow. That's to be real quick. You know, if you are real fast and you are walking so quick, it depends on what you want to do. Others are just walking slowly because they don't have anything to do, or they are just done, or they are coming from work. But for me, I have to really like rush. And it's been raining, it's been raining in the city like, since like yesterday. And the weatherman said it will be like this until mid January towards the end of January. Wow. I have to squeeze on myself. Like, do you see that? Let me show you one of the finest PSP passenger service vehicle. You see this one? Very, one of the best matatus in the, the city. The new year, the new city. Wow. One of the best matatus in the city. But for us now, it's rushing again this time we have to do some few things because we have been delayed in the traffic jam for like two hours now you see, you see there are long queues of vehicles as you can see stuck in the jam I 
have to buy an AC to DC adapter here before I proceed. Sawa. I can't find one here. An adapter of 12 and 5 ampere. Let me check on this shop over here. Seems it's hard to find one of 12 5 ampere. 12 volts, 5 ampere. Let me concentrate on other business first before I come back to that one. Because I have to catch up with time. Usually in the evening, the city is so busy. As you can see, people are selling their stuff in the streets. I have to go on this street and buy some phone spares from here. Because I too need them before I go for other things. So it's fast, fast. But whichever you find fast, you just go for it. So here we go. Let's buy from this shop. So this is the place where we come to buy LCDs from this shop. It's one for him, so we have to fight and get out so fast and real quick. Let me cry, I cry and fast and then Wow, it's 7 p.m. in the city and still haven't completed my mission here. I'm rushing to get some charging ports for phones from this house up here. From this fire the electronics up here. That's where I'm gonna get my charging ports because they're selling at a somehow a cheaper price. So let me get in. Up, up, up we go. Wow, they are almost crossing. They have crossed from this side. Let's go from the front side. Seems I'm not, I'm not so lucky because they cannot sell their computers. Have been closed, so they cannot sell for today. It means we have to get some from elsewhere. Wow, these are the assholes of the city now. It's a bit like I'm late. I can't buy because they cannot sell. The sales of today have been like closed because the server is being dictated by the, the owner of the shop. So they cannot sell. It's high time we get it from elsewhere. I haven't put uh, some. I haven't put some exercise books for my learners. So it's evening in the town and it's very chaotic as you can see most of the times. Very chaotic at this time of the, the day. The streets are filled with hawkers selling their stuff, ranging from shoes, clothes. Yeah, 
some cups and even utensils as you can see. And the Muslims are doing that thing. It's seven. Let me go down on this street. It's called Rothuri Avenue. It's a famous street for selling electronics. At the same time, Okas are now making their kill by coming to the streets. Of course, it's restricted during the day. So now you can see. Wow. Every kind of business starts at this time of the day. Let me go back if I can find an, an adapter because now some shops are in the process of closing and considering like tomorrow is a Sunday most of them will not be open and even there will be some like two three shops open or sometimes not at all so let's get if we can have a, an AC DC adapter for 12 volts. You can see some shops have been closed. Five for spot Kanagi. Na hiyo petri ni chache po Yes. One for 100. Okay. So thank you. Seems we are not so lucky. The customer needs an adapt of 12 and 5 ambias, but I cannot find one. So I have to abandon the, the search. Not un, unless and until the customer prescribes all changes in the mind. The streets are so chaotic at this time of the evening. And the streets are so narrow. I'm holding this phone so close to me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So close to me. Since I have to be very careful from somebody snatching the phone. The streets are so cute at this time of the evening. Seems I have to get some exercise books from elsewhere. Of course I have to find because now people are selling up to late. What do you think about the streets of Nairobi? Write your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the streets of Nairobi. The evening as the and the hawkers. You have to walk so slow because now there are a lot of people walking on the veranda so the pavements wow how do you see this the streets are so congested it's a saturday evening and it's always like this even if it's weekdays the streets are filled up with hawkers it's a very very cute in Nairobi town I have to stop filming 
because at this place uh, there are so many snatchers of phones and it's not safe for us have to be very careful well, let me go this way and try to show you around they are selling right on front of the shops staff surround you to food food staffs and sorry sorry satago everything considering it's this hour so many people are trying to get off the CPD and go home seems today I will not be so lucky to buy so many things as I wanted Hawkers are everywhere, all over. Let's go to the other side of the street. Let's cross. Uh, it is by the roadside. People are just eating like it is inside somewhere. They're eating from tents. So, this is Nairobi. This is the famous Ronaldingara Street. <laughs> Oh, the lady there is so heavy. You can see guys are eating. See, people are eating from here by the roadside. Others are drinking porridge. Which other is it known as Uchipawa? And these are for ticks by the roadside. I tell you, workers are making a kill. I have to switch my bag from the back side to the front side because of insecurity in places where there are traffic jams of people there are a lot of people like this place it's so easy for you for somebody to steal from you so I have to change my bag to the front side and then watch my pockets of course because I have some cash with me in my pockets you can hear people saying chunga mgu like wash your legs wow see it's a chaotic scenario and I even stepped inside some sewage water. We are eating a, a dead hand here, but we have to maneuver. Wow! <laughs> this guy is just pushing me with a cart. 
it's a chaotic scenario with those loud speakers for the workers trying to advertise what they are selling. Place is somehow slippery. And we have to cross the road to the other side. It's not the official closing point. <laughs> I tell you, the city is so chaotic and even this matap is going against the traffic jam, against the rules of keeping left and it's even flying on the pavements. So it's a chaotic evening in the city. Let's cross to this other side and walk by the pavement at this point i have to keep it very very careful and the cut pushers they're so rough man you only just watch yourself because you risk being it down all being overrun by the the cut guys who are pulling cuts because they just ride them like carelessly I'm just trying to because he's here because at this point it's very risky to do a video because phone snatchers on this street is called OTC. So many of them. Once I'm done with this area, I have to end the video. You can see a lot of guys being idle. You might never know who is following you from behind. Wow. At this point, you can see guys trying to run and crossing the road. If you are inside the, these vehicles and the window is open, the guys around here do snatch phones from the windows. So even me, as I'm doing this video, I, I'm just trying to be very careful. with my phone but it's not so, uh, such easy for them to snatch you especially when you are walking and they know you can chase them down so it's time to cross you see and now people are fighting to cross on this point at this point we risk being hit by the matatus speeding matatus because now some of these guys crossing here you can never tell if they are really guys who are trying to cross like pedestrians. Others are looking for an opportunity of steering or snatching a phone. I cannot find what I need, some exercise books. But if I don't find them, it means like I have a task to fulfill on Sunday, tomorrow. Because now schools are reopening on Monday, 8th, January 2024, the calendar year. A 
I told you it's very chaotic. It's a push and pull on these streets. Streets filled up with all cars, walking everything, including these suitcases and footwears. <laughs> If I don't find the exercise box, I have to do the task on Sunday. <laughs> You see these guys and easy doing nothing. And this one's walking by the roadsides. Second and phone covers. Here on the streets everything is a go. Knives, spoons, pans. Wow! <laughs> I didn't see this coming. Wow. <laughs> that guy is walking with a. <laughs> ah, on the pavement, man. That one has really scared me. I didn't yeah, see it coming. Somebody walking with an horse on the pavement. I just met it right on front of me and I wasn't expecting it. Wow, that one has just scared me. Seems like there are no exercise books on this side. You see the Chasky Jam. It's normally like this when it rains in the city. A lot of Chasky Jam, of which you cannot tell where it comes from. So I'm trying to be very careful. At the same, watch, uh, at the same time, watching my park, uh, like trying to see who is from behind. To watch my camera at this point i have to cross uh, here although it's not a designated point for crossing but i have to go to the other side so as to cut the pass to my estate which is the east side of nairobi you can see it's a chain of traffic when i came it was like this and even now it has not gone down it's like that so it's time to cross now you have to cross yeah <laughs> and be careful on this other side yeah we've managed to cross can you see i've crossed from that side and now it's time to go home. The city is so busy. I've never known why. There is a lot of traffic jam during rainy times in the city of Nairobi. I don't know or now it is on your city, but here in Nairobi, once it rains, you may never move. There is a lot of traffic jam, like you can see on the other side, going to the city center. But this one exiting the city, you can see like traffic is flowing, it's flowing too. But on the other side, there towards town, it's so busy, heavy traffic. You 
and of course people are coming from home from Christmas people are arriving in the city because this is your country bus it's called country bus so buses are arriving from up country they just dock here and people are right to catch buses to their various estates so for me I have to catch a bus from here to my estate the east side of Nairobi and of course I'm not seeing one I'm seeing a lot of people waiting for buses to arrive so it seems like we are gonna have to wait all these people are headed to the east side of Nairobi and we are headed to the same destination that means like most people I'm seeing here are coming from up country because you can see they have kids they have fragages And see there are a lot of people waiting for vehicles to come. People are having luggages, like you can see, babies and everything. It means I just arrived some minutes ago, and there are no like matatus. And at this time of the hour, this buses cannot carry people with luggages so that's why you can see people are just stranded with their luggages they, they just came with from up country here you just like here struggling and the prices are infl inflated because people are just struggling to catch buses so people are just uh, fighting to enter into the passes so me myself have to fight for it to enter you can see this one fighting the luggages so the passes are already full we have to wait as we do this video. I think there are not enough passes because most of these passes are stuck on traffic jam on the other side of, of this road because now they cannot cross directly to this side. They must have to go around and round and then come back here to pick passengers that's why you can see a lot of people are just stuck here mostly uh, women with babies kids and luggage just like this ones they have just come from up country you can see so people headed to the east side of Nairobi today and tomorrow it's gonna experience a uh, huge number of passengers arriving here because they are traveling from up country and schools are reopening so people can't afford to be left behind up country they must have to come to the city they are traveling from holidays christmas holidays see all these people are just waiting for buses to arrive here so i have to end uh, this video here thank you for watching write your comments down below mm, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share whenever you want to share to your friends and uh, if you are not subscribed please consider subscribing thank you for watching and let's meet on our next video thank you